Hey everyone, thanks for watching this real-time edit. This should be a fun one because um, I have a lot to do with this. So let's straighten it out first off. And this exposure is a little bit light for me when I'm shooting backlit like this. I think I already dialed in some negative exposure comp. Yeah, I only went negative two-thirds. I probably should have went at least a full stop, if not like a stop and a half, you know. Uh, stop in two-thirds because you can see how I'm starting to lose some sky detail back there and that's something I want to maintain uh, so anyway um, let me warm this up I'm really gonna go rich golden with this kick those shadows up I want more detail there's the contrast that I was looking for and now it's gonna be all about getting that sky detail back so I'm gonna really pull down on the highlights there and I really want to get the tone back in that sky and the gradient like that isn't really doing the trick. So let me try this. That might fill in there. There we go. That's better. Um, that's going to be a little bit too dark up there. But I think I'll just... Actually, let me see if I can just fix it right now. I was going to say I think I can fix it in uh, Photoshop. But there we go. That's a little bit more even. It's There's a little bit of blotchiness up there and funk there. But I'll just fix that all in Photoshop. And... Boy, let's see. I want the bird to stand out a little more, but I think I'm going to just do that in Photoshop. So let's head into Photoshop. Okay, first things first. Get rid of some distractions here. Gee, I wonder who set that perch up there. It's just like such a perfect placement for the bird to land on like that. It was amazing that the perch just showed up on this fence post there. Uh, in case you're not getting my subtle hint, I set that perch up on the fence post because these birds love to use these barbed wire fences and they land on the fence posts. And while that's great and cool, it's just like this man-made object that I don't love in my photos. So um, I went out and put something else better there for them to land on and it took them about two days before they started using it. So that was pretty cool. All right, so now I'm just going to kind of even up the blotchiness that was in that yellowy orange sky um, I'm going to just kind of just straight up paint some of it yeah, it's a little too dark on that side just kind of want to even it out I'll let this side go a little bit lighter than that side but I want tone in the background I don't want it to be all just like washed out um, you know white sky like it was originally so that is what I'm doing there um, let's see what's next. I think, I mean, boy, it'd be nice if that fence post wasn't there at all, but, um, that would be weird to just kind of hide and clone out. So I'll just leave it. Um, let's see what else can I do? Oh yeah. Make the bird stand out. There we go. That's what I want to do. So let's throw a curve layer on there. Really brighten this bad boy up. I also wish he was like up closer to the top of the perch there and I didn't have this part of the perch going into the body but you know hey can't have everything at least he landed on the perch for me in the first place that was a a good start you know all right so I'm just going to outline this whole bird I'll pause it and bring it back so you don't have to watch that whole process okay finish the outline let me fill the outline in and there we go. There's my selection. It's too light, but I will, um, what you call it? Uh, I'll just kind of save that selection and then start painting it back in the way I want. Uh, so I think, yeah, the whole kind of head and everything there went a little bit too light. And maybe the wings there. I do like how light it kind of made the breast of the bird there. That's a really good thing. And I also liked what it had done to the um, the glow around the head there, right? It really kind of lightened that up and enhanced it. Um, let's see. Let me darken the black back down except for the eye. So I'm going to try and leave the eye a little bit lighter there. And I like seeing that little bit of... Uh, oops. Um, you can see the separation between the black mask and the, the bill there, the little beak. That vicious, vicious beak of theirs, uh, which is really cool. Um, starting to get like weirdly spotty here, so I'm just gonna oops, kind of paint that out of the eye 
entirely. There we go. That's looking a little bit more natural. And now I'll use a separate dodge layer to bring out just that little bit of catch light there. And it's going to be too much, but then I'll just kind of fade it out. There we go. All right, so now we got that catch light. And now, actually, after I zoom out, um, I think I want to go darker with the sky. And I also want to go less kind of yellow and more oops, orange with it. So darken it first, get my tone in it, and then let me actually just see what this does. A little bit of magenta, oops, a little bit of red. Let's see what that does for that sky. There we go. That's better. That's a better tone. It's less just like that kind of not pleasing yellow. Uh, also, the, um, the breast of the bird is really getting tainted with that red kind of wash there so I'm just going to desaturate that a little bit and shift it more green and neutral and I can use my saved selection to isolate where I'm painting to that there we go All right let's just get rid of some of that red on him that's better right it's not supposed to be pink and I think that's going to be about it. So before, after in Photoshop, let's do a full before and after in Lightroom and see how it went from where we started to where I ended up. Okay, big difference on this one. There's before on the left, after on the right. So definitely a big change there, but that's almost always the case when I shoot these backlit shots. They always require quite a bit of work to get them to the point of where I like them. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with that one. Love the glow, uh, the texture of the perch, the grass is out of focus down here, and then just that nice rim light on the bird back there really makes him stand out. So again, it would have been better if he was up top, but you know, hey, next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.